Have fun running those errands. Toyota, let's go places. Even though it's snowing today, we have proof that spring and summer are around the corner. There's a lot of work underway to get Elish Gardens ready to open for the season. Nine News anchor Kyle Dyer got a behind the scenes look. Right, we are completely off of the trailer. We're all used to seeing this ship flying through the air at Elitch Gardens. Six feet away still. But not like this. How do we look on that side? This 8,000 pound vessel was hoisted up by a crane to get it to its spot on the Sea Dragon, where it will be anchored for this spring and summer. Right there, down. Getting it just right is the priority for making the park ready for opening day. These rides are designed to always be safe. To ensure the rides are in the best condition, most of them were That's taken apart and stored indoors for the winter. Others stayed put and were protected from the elements. We also remove all the doors. We take them apart, go through them 100% and clean them up, inspect them, replace shocks, bearings, uh, put them all back together. The team at Elitch's makes it sound so easy, and this can't be easy. It's probably a bit colder up top there than it is where we're at right now. These inspectors spend 12 hours on each ride. They check for the torque amounts on each one of the bolts. Torque means tight, and that means a safe park. There's quite a few pieces to each seat. It's a, it's a process. This is the mind eraser in all of those parts. Worn out pieces got replaced. These are our axle carriers. These are called wheel bogies. And yes, the crews know what goes where. I don't know how. This is the tightest nut in the park. We torqued this to 4,000 Newton meters. Newton meter? Of course. I rate. think that means there's no way something's coming loose. I try. No detail is too small leading up to opening day. And the cold weather isn't really that big of a deal. It'll be warm before we know it. Ready for people to come back and start riding their rides, hearing the screams and the thrill. With photojournalist Chris Chalene, Kyle Dyer, 9 News. That's a pretty neat view. Also, if you see someone rappelling down the observation tower next week, that's just more maintenance taking place. Week after that, please do call the cops. Park opens for its 126th season on Saturday, April 30th. It'll be open weekends only till Memorial Day weekend, then daily through Labor Day. We have a live look at I-25 in University. The road's still just wet at this point and the traffic is moving along really well. However, as we know, the temperatures are